Hey there! It's week three of my minoxidil journey. Now, to start off, I want to say something that's kind of serious. A good friend of mine, Shell, who is on my collab channel, uh, Paperboy, came to me today and told me um, about how minoxidil can have adverse reactions and even deadly reactions to your pets. Dogs and cats, but especially cats. Now, I have two dogs and I have three cats. I have one cat that actually lives in my bedroom. And what can happen is, is they can, if they lick your hair, lick your head, lick your face, um, lay on your pillow after you slept on it, even the hair that falls out of your head during the day, you know, if they ingest some of it, it could be deadly. Now, there's not a lot of studies on this. I think that if this was a common occurrence, I think that this product would be put out of the market, off the market, they would have lawsuits against them. So, you know, I'm not sure about it. So to err on the side of caution, which because I care about my animals, I care about my kid, I care about my wife. So what I did was I, I stripped my whole bed and I've washed all the sheets, the pillowcases, just the duvet cover, you know, I vacuumed the rugs in the bedroom and in the bathroom and cleaned everything down really well. And not to say that I never do my research because I do, but I, I didn't do it enough. You know, on the, on the box itself, it basically just says keep out of reach of kids and animals, but you know, I'm going to do this and the pillow that I used to sleep on, I am going to put away during the day in the closet where the cat can't get to it because she likes to lay on the bed. So what I want to do is I want to show what little growth I've gotten in the last week. I see tons of hair, fine hairs, growing right here, okay? And I see that this is filling in a little bit. I see some hairs. Now this down here I haven't shaved in a week. Um, kind of let it grow. I think that um, after and plus I have hairs growing up the cheek that you can see and that's kind of always been there. That's kind of always been there. That wasn't my issue. My issue is I want to fill this in and I want this to connect and this get thicker you know where the patchiness is. Um, so I think I'm going to tomorrow probably take this down to a two. I like to keep it trim but um, I'll still use the minoxidil to fill in the patches. So on the top of my head, I still feel like I do have some growth in here. It's looking a little thicker to me. This was a real sore spot here where it was real bald and I think it's gotten a little thicker. Now today I have no product on my hair. I don't have a hairstyle. It's a mess. But um, I just wanted you to see what it looked like, you know, with just nothing in it. Okay guys, today I'm going to give you 10 steps to have healthier hair. Now, step number one, take a multivitamin. This is the multivitamin that I take and make sure that it has B vitamins included. You can also take biotin, which is a B vitamin, which is great for the hair. I also take a super B complex vitamin. So I take this every day. All right, now, step number two. Omega-3s. You gotta get your omega-3 fatty acids in. Now how you do that is you eat fish oil. We have salmon, sardines. Eat some mackerel. Real good. How about getting it from an avocado? Imagine that. Also you can get your omega-3s from walnuts and a slew of other things. Go online, look it up. You gotta get those, those omega-3 fatty acids. They're gonna make your hair richer. They're gonna make your hair stronger. And also the fatty acids, they reduce the inflammation in your hair, which um, causes hair loss. So, step number three, a self-scalp massage. Really get into it. This increases blood flow to the hair, which increases nutrients, and nutrients to the hair equals more growth. Also, you can use the Zeus, which I use every day, which I think I told you before, but this just feels wonderful. Step number four, 
wash your hair every third day. Now washing your hair every day removes the essential oils that your hair needs to grow efficiently. So you can wet your hair every day, you can use a conditioner every day, but the actual shampoo actually strips your hair and dries it out. So I recommend washing your hair every third day. Step number five, use shampoos with aloe vera and biotin. So I use this, which I think I've shown you before, along with the conditioner of the same type, but it is in my workout bag downstairs, so can't show you. Step number six. Apple cider vinegar rinse. Now what you do is you wash your hair and then you spray some of this rinse in your hair. Now this is made of three parts apple cider vinegar and one part water. And you rub that in there and then you rinse it out. And then that takes us to step number seven, which is use a leave-in conditioner. This has all kinds of good natural ingredients, including coconut oil and some more vitamin B stuff. So use a leave-in conditioner and uh, you can't go wrong. Just condition all day long. Number eight, do not use a ton of heat on your hair. This will damage the hair shaft. See this? No, 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 no. If you have to use it, put it on cool. All right? Now, step number nine. Stop using hair products with tons of high alcohol content. Just read the labels, read the labels, read the labels. I can't show you any of that because I don't own any of that. But just take my word for it. No alcohol content. Step number 10. Give your hair time without any product on it at all. And my suggestion would be if you work and you have a couple days off, like you, you know, on Friday night, wash your hair. And during the weekend, if you're just going to have a chill weekend at home, don't put any product in your hair. Let your hair breathe. And everything that I'm saying about your hair can go for your beard too, because it's all hair. We're talking about hair here. It's all hair. Now, I do have a bonus step for you. And that is... All right, kids. Bonus tip is stand on your head. This increases blood flow to your head. It increases your circulation. And it keeps your hair follicles alive. All right, so those are my overall hair tips for you guys. I hope they're helpful for you. Next week, we'll have another discussion and this time it's going to be about beard oil. Hmm. Just a little sneak peek. All right. I'll see you next time. Bye.